here I've got this Westinghouse radio I picked up for five dollars at the yard sale. I got it working with some replacement capacitors. And the rest of it's all original. I think the switch has been replaced and I had to take the switch apart and clean the contacts so it would close again. And I stuck a fuse in it. It's in that little sleeve there. But I'm gonna see if I can repair one of these capacitors and restuff it. I haven't restuffed one of these before. I restuffed the chassis mount ones. But this came out pretty easy. Heat up with the heat gun stripper. Maybe even the hair dryer might work. And then this started to the end where the wires came out started getting gooey. And then that popped out. And then I, did, I heated the whole thing, trying not to burn it and mess up the writing. And then I could just push on this end and the guts just slid right out. So I should be able to rig these in there. Maybe put some silicone in place of that. I hooked it to the existing wires, so I'll stack them so they're like that. Should work. Yeah, I got it wired up so it looks like it'll work okay. Slide it in there. Get a silicone on that end. Looks pretty original. Well, I didn't have any silicone, but. I did have some one minute epoxy and well that looks pretty convincing. Put a little sand on top of it to make it look more like the stuff that was in there. Just some Florida sand. Make it look more like the gritty looking stuff that was in it. And it looks like it's already set up fairly good. Guess I need to uh, try to get it back in the holder and then see if it works. Alright, capacitor restuffing is done. Still works, the radio is working and it's fairly convincing looking. Looks like it has the original part in it, but it has a couple of new electrolytics hidden inside. It's certainly more aesthetically pleasing from a technical point of view to have it look original. But it doesn't help it work any better.